Hello friends, today we will be learning an important topic, which is phases of a moon. It's uh, one of the very important topics for a lot of Olympiad, science Olympiad exams. And a lot of kids get confused as to how to remember the various phases and especially uh, getting confused in vaccine, veining, divorce as to how to depict uh, the, the different phases of a moon. So I'm going to teach you a very simple and an easy trick. And once you get hold of that trick, Phases of moon would be really easy. So let's start. Uh, so let's start. So first we will write uh, new moon. Like if you're doing it for your exams, then you can just write uh, NM, which is new moon. Then you write crescent, crescent, you write C and C. You just can write the short forms. So I'll write crescent, crescent, and you write uh, full moon. And you write gee boss, gee boss, water, water. That's how you're going to write. Okay. So this means gee boss, gee boss, this is water, and water. Right? These are the eight phases of the moon. If I have to really uh, write it really quick, see what I'm going to write is I'll write new moon, full moon, crescent, crescent. Give us, give us water, water, right? And so these are the full names. Now, whenever we'll start always with a new moon. So anything that comes after, so the, the crescent that will come after new moon will be waxing crescent and the gibos will also be waxing gibos. Then you have the full moon. So after full moon, you have a waning gibos. So similarly, you will have a Waning crescent. Okay, that's how you'll remember the names of these moon. Now let us see how the diagrams look. Uh, so these are the eight phases of the moon. So I've taken eight circles and now let's practice again. So I will write new moon, crescent, crescent, water. I will write here full moon, gibos, gibos, and water. Okay. So I've just for uh, ease of, uh, you know, understanding, I have just named all of them, uh, the full names. Now we start with the new moon. So in case of new moon, you can't see any part of the moon. So it remains blank. Now when we start with the waxing crescent, we'll only start from the right. Now the part that I'm highlighting is yellow is the part of the moon that you're going to see. So this will be my waxing crescent. Then again, we'll start from the right. So this part of the moon will be see when we move to waxing gibos then again the right part of it which will be like this this part will be able to see and full moon will be able to see the entire moon we we'll just color it and then in case of veining gibos then again now it will go from left so this will be the veining gibos and this will be the water. Most of the time, the kids get confused uh, whenever uh, they get a question, especially in NSO, that which water, uh, you know, which side the half water would be. And then when you go to waning crescent, then it will be this crescent. And then you have the new moon. So I hope you understood. This is how the phases of the moon looks like. So as I told you, from new moon, you have the waxing crescent, then first quarter, waxing gibos, then full moon, then waning gibos, third quarter, waning crescent, and the new moon. So if you see, it is here in the right, the coloring right, in the right, then full moon. Then it starts from the left, left, and left. And that's how we remember the phases of the moon. Again, as I told you, first we write new moon, full moon, crescent, crescent, gibos, gibos. Water and water and the the moon part will start from the right. I hope you liked my video and thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my channel.